Hi, today we're going to have a look at adding a graphic with an opt-in box to our sidebar on our blog via a widget. And if we go over to my blog, learn to blog with Mandy Allen, Org. We are going to look down the sidebar here and you can see what I mean. Subscribe here and I have a nice graphic, some text and an opt-in box. So if we go over to our HTML editor, I use Composer because it's free and it's also very good, um, but you should be able to follow the instructions even if you use a different um, HTML editor. So the first thing we need to do is we need to insert a table and we're going to have a table that is one cell tall, uh, one cell across by two cells tall and there's our table there and if we click in the first box we can see the cursor is on the left hand side so if we click table and we're going to change this area here which is the content alignment and we need to go to the top center apply that and if we press uh, click the cursor again we will find that the cursor is indeed in the top and the center so the first thing we do is we're going to insert an image So once you locate your image, it should appear in the bottom box like this. I won't use alternate text, and there it is there. Great, so now we're going to put a little bit of text underneath. Uh, to receive your free gift, please sign in below, and an exclamation mark. So we'll just change that text to Verdana, because I like Verdana. And we'll have italic bold and we'll change the color to blue to fit in with the theme. So we should now have some blue text. Excellent. Okay, so in the next box down we can see that the cursor is on the left hand side again. So go back to your table and content alignment. We need the top and center again. Apply and click OK. So there it is in there. So what we're going to put in here is our opt-in code. So if you go to your autoresponder. I've already designed my box that I want to put on my form and I always use the JavaScript code and the reason I use JavaScript instead of HTML is because if I make any changes to my box at any time in the future it will automatically reflect on my website. If you use the HTML code when you make any changes to your box you then have to go back to your widget and change the HTML code in your widget. So I'm going to use this code here which is the JavaScript. What happens with that is once you insert it you won't see it appear here in Composer. You won't see it until it is actually on your site. But what I'm also going to do is I'm actually going to write insert code here in the box so that when I go into the source I will know where to put the code. So click on source and then you can see it says insert code here. Okay, so I'll just paste my code in there and I'm just going to put a couple of center tags in either side um, to make sure this actually does appear in the center. Um, although I have got the cursor centered, sometimes it does weird things. So we'll just do that. Okay. And then when we go back to normal, here we are, we have it in the center. So now we need to copy this code in totality. Copy, and we're going to paste it into our website. So here we are. Um, in the learn to blog um, dashboard. So I'll go into the admin area and I'm going to add a widget. And I'm going to put the widget at the bottom of sidebar 2. So it's going to go down here. So what we need to do is we need to take a text widget and move it over here. And this is a blank widget. There's nothing in it now. I'm going to title it sign in here and then I'm going to paste the code that I just copied into this area. Save it go back to my website and if we scroll down we have our new widget here. Sign in here 
Here's our graphic, the text that we entered, and the opt-in box. So that's all you need to do to add uh, a graphic with an opt-in box into your sidebar via a widget. Thanks for watching.